o'clock this morning. My voice is so raspy, y'all. I'm so sorry, but welcome back. We back in the trap. And I'm going to be doing my all-time favorite hairstyle for my birthday today, y'all. And it's y'all's favorite hairstyle here on my channel. So make sure you check out the playlist. If, for whatever reason, I should leave out something that you're missing in this video, maybe I covered it in a previous video. I got a little challenge for myself going on. I'm supposed to meet my mama for a walk on the beach in about an hour and a half, and I have this whole right side to do. I want to be honest, I think that this side has a little bit more hair than this side that I completed last night, but I did want to sit down with half of it done just to show you guys how it is looking. So far, my thoughts on this hair, I'm okay with the length but i really love when my hair is super long so i'm okay with the length i probably should have fed in a little bit more um today i'm working with only six packs of hair so i'm using honestly about four packs of this equal jamaican twist which i have used plenty of times before in my tutorials i'm also going in with a new brand today this one is by vivica fox honey and i like i really do like this hair okay it's super fluffy right out the bag you guys will see um and they were both 4.99 at my local hair store i will leave some of my favorite hair that used in the description box below All right so again i'm just gonna go in with the bag like i said i have to meet my mama y'all and what thing about my mama? I love her, but mama, she gonna be late. I just because it's not like work or something like that, she gonna be late. She gonna be chilling. So, um, plus I drive faster than my mother. <clears throat> so I think I will be okay. You may go in and wet your hair if you would like. Uh, I don't really want to do that. One, that's gonna slow cool down. And two, I don't really like Marley hair or any rough textured hair rubbing on my wet hair because I feel like your hair is the most vulnerable and it's wet state so so basically in the back if you are new here I always take my fingers and basically just go and I'm gonna follow the same pattern that I kind of have on the side so what I'm doing right now is just the feeling basically how wide did I do this section when I was doing it All right, and now I'm going to go in with two things. The first one is going to be some beeswax. So first you want to go in with something that's going to slip down those edges. And this is just going to help with that grip later on. Just because I'm not straightening my hair before I go in. Years, I've always started to twist my hair before going in with any protective style that I can possibly, mainly for my Molly twists, is because it allows me to protect my hair again from outside environment barriers like the sun, my clothes. I just like my hair to be super protected in a protective style, so I'm just going to twist my hair. I'll be honest, I'm not going to go down my entire draft all over my head because that's time consuming. So what you can do is just go in with some shea butter and just like stretch out your ends. So basically what I do, I started from the very beginning, I will split my hair, and again, I'm just feeling this right now. I'm not looking. Who has time for that? I start twisting the hair at the root, really tauntly. No matter how tauntly you pull it, once you release the twist at the end, so does that pressure release. So I'm not afraid to twist, to look taunt, not too taunt y'all, y'all know, but taunt. To start your braid or your twist from the back, you'll more than likely have a little bit more tension at the root. I don't know why, but that's just my little trick whenever I'm doing my own head. So if I really want the root to be a little bit more tight or I need to get my grip, I'll just flip my hands and do it backwards first and then pull it to the side. So I finished um, going through the back and this is all the hair tied up. And now we're going to get started on this first piece now that my hair is finally twisted off. I also decided to go in with some uh, Wetline Extreme Gel just because I'm running out of my beeswax. And again, I want to keep that sleek look around the edges. I don't like to use too much. That's just my personal opinion because it makes my hair curl up. Um, but it might be pretty in the front. One of the main questions that I get on these videos is how long does this style usually last? And for me, this style will last me, y'all, about... 
I keep this in my head honestly for like two and a half months. I have multiple videos up with literally over 30 ways to style these Marley twists. So don't think that your options are endless. I feel like a Marley twist salesperson. But yeah, on this left side that I just did, I did go in with four pieces and I feel like I had an extra pack. The best part about this hair is that she's already fluffed, so I don't even have to go in and fluff her. All I do with this hair in particular is just lay her literally where I want her to go as far as um, the length. So this is me stretching the length. And I really don't even know how to explain that. I just lay each piece in a way that when I twist it, and you can kind of eyeball it, you want the bottoms to be even, y'all. So this up here ain't going to be too even. As you can see, there's an end. Here's an end. But all that matters is this. You don't want it to be too uneven because it'll look cray cray. But all I do is I twist the center, as you guys just saw, just so that the root of the twist is not like bulging. And y'all know we don't want that. Looping my twist in here around and twisting and grabbing it here, my index finger. So once I have that, I'm just gonna kind of go into a little braid. I will say I still have not mastered like talking while doing this. So excuse me if I'm being really redundant. Um, one thing I have noticed about this fluffy hair, it is like really, really juicy. She looks way more shinier. I love this color 99J. Um, I've never tried this hair before. Like I said, this is by Vivica A. Fox. And when I saw it, I was like, ooh, Vivica. I also saw that price and I liked it. I really did. Other color is 530. Let me not forget. I'm going to tell y'all now. This is 99J. The other color I'm using in the front is 530. And it is a little bit more red. And it does not really blend with my hair. But I love the contrast of my dark hair, um, which is not black. I love the contrast of my dark hair with that red color and so that's why i didn't mind it peeping through so what i'm actually hoping for today y'all i want to flexi wrap my hair i'm not going to be able to do that clearly before i go and head to the beach but my birthday is tomorrow that's what this is all about leave me a happy birthday below if you really love this hair tutorial so far and I'm really hoping that you guys will because I'm really loving my hair so far, y'all know. I always remember walking into like, um, I remember I walked into a Publix <laughs> and there was this lady who had naturally, I think she had like shoulder length dreads. But she walked up to me and she was like, oh my gosh, how long have you been growing? And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, your hair. And she was just like, you know, touching. If you black, it's, it, I ain't gonna say it's cool if you black, but I didn't mind because her hair was gorgeous. And I was like, these aren't mine. She's like, oh my God, I couldn't tell. And then she told me how, um, I feel like I'm telling all this lady business. But anyway, child, y'all, look, we in here gossiping. She told me, let me not get sidetracked, that she had grown her natural dreads long, like past her mid caps. So her hair, she was like, she remember being in that stage that my hair was at the time, like to my butt when I had my Marley twist last. So for my birthday, um, I was trying to think of a COVID friendly way to appreciate me getting a little older. And I just decided uh, I'm not gonna go out to any bars cause I'm not really a club person, y'all. Those of you hot and new here, you girls pretty chill. Um, so I don't, re I don't really think I wanna go twerking or you know, anywhere like that.
So now I'm working from the perimeter, y'all. Had to call and get some extra time with my mom. Um, but I am working on one pack, and I'm gonna have one pack left of this. I have 30 hair. I don't know how we gonna do, y'all. I might need one more pack, but that's okay. It's close. Usually it's about six or seven packs. I always say with this Jamaican braid twist, the hair that I'm working with right now, it's a little thin on the density in the packs. I feel like they give you less hair. I really don't know why that is, but. Again, I'm still just working with three pieces of hair. So I will say that going in with the twist beforehand does make it take a little while longer than if you just went in individually. And maybe one day I'll do an actual tutorial on like how you can just twist your hair into it. You don't have to twist before. However, when I don't twist my hair, I feel like my hair doesn't last as long because my hair is really, really soft. And as you guys can see, I'm not really going in with any uh, rubber bands or any banding. So it's really easy for this Marley hair to slip out. Especially if you've done it on blown out or wet hair. Truthfully, I feel like you can lock your hair like this. I don't know how. I feel like you can. You just left these in and let your hair just intertwine and grow. Sometimes, I think in the past, I've left these in long. I thought my hair was going to dry it up now. Do y'all see this beautiful color? I was honestly inspired to do this color by Sunny. She always does her distressed locks. I feel like that's her like signature style. And my signature style is these Marley twists, so. I've only done this color once. And that was years ago, and they were not this good. I'm excited, y'all. Oh, now it's starting to feel like my birthday. Oh, I'm so excited. Sis, after you've gone so long without your hair being done, like, don't do Y'all know where I'm coming from. So a little tip for the ends. I always split the bottom of the shaft again, like outside of the normal twisting pattern, just so that it's a little bit more difficult for the hair to unravel. I never really had a problem with my Marley hair unraveling, but that's just something that I've always done. Now it's time to get strategic. I am like really proud to say that in November I'll be going on I don't know if you guys want to call it a fast or a detox, but I'm really taking a fast from a lot of things, including uh, Instagram. So yeah, I won't be coming back on Instagram literally until the end of November, probably Thanksgiving time, but Friday time. Um, and then I am going to be doing Vlogmas this year as well, so I just want to do a little mini update. Um, I will be posting more consistently on YouTube because I only have one platform to focus on, so expect that in the month of November. Uh, most importantly, we're going to be doing Natural November again this year. If you guys don't know what that is, basically I'm going to be including a lot of natural products. But instead of just hair products, I'm going to be doing natural hair products, natural facial products. I even made a new Instagram account because I'm so serious about this. I want to get back into beauty and skincare and all the things that... I started my channel off on so I love fashion I just feel like lately my content has been more it's been mostly like what I need to do versus what I want to do like it's not fun anymore of course it's always fun for me but when something becomes a job and sometimes it gets like so pressured and anxious built. I'm also getting back into my graduate program, taking that really, really serious. And I've decided that YouTube cannot be my priority right now. I have so many things that I want to do that I have to get started before 2021 in order for it all to happen. And I'm cool with that because I finally feel like I'm back on my game. I have a series coming out, Boss Babe series, which I'm already starting to record content for. So far, you guys, I've already done my website. We are building our media kit together, and I just took my headshots. So, if you guys are interested in being an influencer, starting a business, or all of the above, blogger, podcaster, whatever you're doing in the entrepreneurship, you will need a media kit. 
and uh, I'm just coming together with everything that I've learned in my program uh, since I do have a bachelor's degree and I just figured why not give that free information so if you guys are interested I'll leave that in the description box where you guys can check it out time to do a full tuck but right now I'm just trying to twist my hair slightly ever so slightly into the Marley hair so that when I twist it you don't see my hair peeking through guys this is the end of this video thanks so much for sitting down and doing my hair with me be sure to leave a comment below if you guys try out this style and as always i love you and i will see you guys in my next upload peace